Get me some of your father's gold, and some of your mother's too, and two of the finest horses he has in his stable, for he has ten and thirty-two. She got him some of her father's gold, and some of her mother's too, and two of the finest horses he had in his stable, for he had ten and thirty-two. Then she jumped on the noble brown, and he on the dappled gray, and they rode till they came to the side of the sea, two long hours before it was day. Let me help you down, my pretty Polly, let me help you down, said he, for it's six king's daughter, I have drowned here, and the seventh you shall be. Now strip yourself, my pretty Polly, now strip yourself, said he, your clothing is too fine and over costly to rot in the sand of the sea. And turn your back to the leaves of the tree, and your face to the sands of the sea. Tis a pity such a false-hearted man as you a naked woman should see. He turned his back to the leaves of the tree, and his face to the sand of the sea. And with all the strength that pretty Polly had, she pushed him into the sea. Come lend me your hand, my pretty Polly, come lend me your hand, said he, and I will be your waiting boy, and will wait upon you night and day. Lie there, lie there, you false-hearted man, lie there, lie there, said she, as six king's daughters, you have drowned here. Then the seventh you shall be. Then she jumped on the noble brown, And led the dappled gray, And rode till she came to her father's hall, Two long hours before it was day. Then up bespoke her Paul Parrot, Sitting in his cage so gay, Why do you travel, my pretty Polly, So long before it is day? Then up bespoke her old father, Living in his room so gay, why do you chatter, my pretty parrot, so long before it is day? The cat was around and about my cage, and I could not get away. So I called unto Miss Pretty Polly to drive the cat away. Well turned, well turned, my pretty parrot, well turned, well turned for me. Thy cage shall be made of hand-beaten gold, thy door of the finest ivory.